Hello everyone, welcome to Kids Jam. Today we are going to be making some bird feeders at home. This is how our bird feeder looks like. You can think of different ways of making a bird feeder. It doesn't have to be lollipop sticks. You can use card, you can use paper, you can use any kind of boxes that you have at home. You can use cartons, you can cut them out and you can paint them and put um, sticky materials on them, make them look pretty or colour them in. You don't have to use lollipop sticks. It's just, it's just one way of making it. There's different, so many different ways that you can make bird feeders at home. Okay, so let's jump going to start putting his 12 lollipop sticks together in a row. So, so one, Well done. So we're just going to straighten them up like this. And now we need two more sticks. So we've got 12 here. Add two more, mates. So you're going to add two more, which makes 14. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the purple sticks over here. Do you want to paint the glue. We've got normal PVA glue here which we had at home, nothing fancy, just the normal, we all love PVA glue at home, which is safe to use. Excellent, um, now we're just going to put it down. You are going to need an adult to help you do this because it's quite tricky. So we've got it in level, excellent. So we're just gonna press it down like this. And we're going to do the same onto the other side as well. So my helper, can you put some glue on the stick, please? So we have done our first layer which is going to be the base of the tree house, bird house and now we're going to make two more um, it's going to be for the roof so just exactly how you've made the first one we are going to be making two more of these and those are for the roof so we're going to let this dry so push it away let it dry and let's start with the second i'm going to take 12 more that we have oh, are going to be going to dry now. So remember that we've made one for the base, which is the bottom, and these two are for our roof. And I'll show you exactly what we're going to do next. So just get them dry. So now we need 18 more lollipop sticks for our base. Um, that we made before earlier, so we're gonna. My helper's just gonna show you where to put the glue. So, so we yeah, have one drop there, one drop there. So yeah, let's just add this one on first. So we're just gonna stick our lollipop stick just like that where we put the glue, and one over there. Just make sure you press it down so it gives a little bit of hold. Bit Get some more glue, you need a little bit more glue. Okay. I'm going to put the glue there and we're going to add our stick on to the corners, just like this. And can you put some glue on that side as well? That's it, well done. And some here. That's it. We're going to do it at the edge here. Right, so we're going to move this here. Oh, be careful, it's just a little bit wobbly. Okay, so again, repeat the procedure, keep layering on your stick. Can I have a little bit?
that's our 18 sticks completed and that's our base completed for now so we're going to let this dry completely and then after it's dry we're going to come back and we're going to connect so our now what we're going to do is we're going to get one more lollipop stick put some glue on top of it just like this so I'm going to add some glue on just like this just lots of glue on okay and we're going to add it just to the top of the purple stick that we have here so just press it down just like that so see the yellow stick goes over here and then we're going to get the other roof that we made and we are going to stick it on to the yellow part over here so now what we need to do is on our second um roof add glue on top it's just like this like i'm doing just like this add lots of, lots of glue don't worry if you're adding a little too much because you can't see it as long as we have enough glue to stick on okay this part's a little bit tricky so i'm going to bring it up close to you so you can see so we're just going to stick this across like that i don't know if you can see just like this it's not going to stay unless you hold it together for a few seconds so for a few seconds just like that whilst it kind of gets um stuck together because this is the most um important part but this is our roof and we do not want our roof to fall apart so what i thought we could do is um apply pressure on each side so I'm going to use that and I'm going to also use this over here so it's quite steady now and it's not going to move so hopefully it will dry so we're just going to let it <laughs> dry let's give it a now while we're waiting for our roof to dry we are going to get back our base which is this that we've made earlier on I'm going to pick this up and we're going to put our um, sticks onto the side we're going to put four sticks so one here one here one here one here because it's going to help to hold our roof down so my helper is just putting some glue onto the stick thank you and he's going to pass it on to me and i'm just going to push it down like that there we go okay just make sure your base is dry before you do it because um otherwise it will move around and then our second one so we need to make sure that we have it apart at least about this much here just like that so my help is just stick it putting glue onto my um, lollipop sticks but i'm just going to hold these down for a few seconds like this two sticks that we put on before have dried now we're going to do the same thing on the other side my help is going to add have you add some glue on there excellent yeah. So we're just going to put that over on this side over here and we are going to put this other one over on this side over here and we're just going to hold them down. So we have got our four um, sticks stuck on to our house and now remember we had our roof. What we're going to do, so I'm going to turn it over just like this and we are going to add our roof on top remember um, to add some glue at the end which i have already done i'm just going to add a little bit more just to show you but this time we have to make sure we have quite a bit so i'm going to put some glue on top there and some glue there and some glue there but just remember that we have to remember to make sure it stays Okay, so like this hopefully it's yeah it's actually sticking on to the sticks that we had on placed on before so it should be sticking on so I'm not gonna touch it it's perfect exactly how it is I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll see if we need to reapply some more glue and do it again but at the moment I hopefully it will stick our bird feeder has um, dried up and oh, it's not falling down it looks so lovely I love it 
So now it's dry, we're just gonna loop in. We've just got a pipe feeder at home, we couldn't find anything else. And it was short, so I attached two of them together. So I just tangled them, twist, sorry, twisted them up from the ends of each side and just made it a bit longer. Now I'm just gonna feed it through to the middle like this and I'm gonna just tie this up here. Probably that much will be good. And um, you can even get a pen and write your name on the bird feeder. So my helper's just gonna add a little bit of seeds inside his bird feeder. Let's see if it works. Let's see. Oh, yay, it does. 